Hello everyone, uh, it's me Alice and I'm back with another video and as promised it's going to be an update on my helix piercing, my cartilage piercing on my ear. Let's begin. Uh, it's been exactly a week since I did the piercing and if you haven't seen my, my other video, I did a video of when I like got it, the day I got it and the pain level and all that stuff and how much it hurt and yeah. For the first few days uh, of having the piercing, it uh, I didn't feel it at all, like uh, it was totally numb. Uh, but when I touched it, it hurt, of course, like obviously it's a wound. I feel like this angle is kind of like that. Yeah. So it didn't hurt the first few days at all, uh, and that's when I was cleaning it with saline, I think it's called in English. It's basically a salt solution, uh, and the piercer told me to use this. It worked fine uh, when I uh, uh, cleaned it with that, but and then it didn't hurt at all. Like, but then I started feeling like it started to hurt again, really bad. It started to hurt like constantly. It was very hard to clean it because it hurt. Like I couldn't move my ear like this or anything, and obviously that. You know, that is quite common when you get a piercing, but I was getting paranoid or whatever about it. So I went to the pharmacy because I thought salt does not disinfect the uh, piercing or the wound. So I wanted something stronger, basically. I wanted to clean the heck out of it. So I um, went to my local pharmacy and I said, hey, uh, I got a piercing and uh, I want something that will disinfect it because I've been using this saline stuff like salt a solution. And he said, yeah, well, uh, we have this and we recommend this to our clients for like cleaning piercings and stuff. And this is uh, called, uh, I'm sorry, it's in Swedish. I don't know if you can, you can probably not even tell what it says here. It's called chlorhexidin. And it is a uh, wound disinfection. So this is uh, stuff that you use on wounds to uh, disinfect them. You can get this at your local pharmacy. You can just uh, ask the ones that work there. You can just ask them. You can say, oh, hey, I got a piercing. I got to clean it, you know. You can also uh, ask for wound cleaning because that's pretty much the same thing. Like, <laughs> you got a wound, you got to clean it. So, yeah. I bought this and they told me to just use a q-tip and also like drop onto the piercing. So uh, I rec I uh, noticed that the first time I used this chlor chlorhex chlorhexidin it got really clean. Uh, it took all of the uh, dirt and uh, dirt. And I noticed that there was blood on the uh, q-tip when I took it off with this and also like uh, pus. It was like uh, white, off-white, yellow, but that is actually normal when you get a piercing. It's a, when you get like the white pus, it's actually a good thing. It means that it's healing and st uh, and that's a good thing. This stung a little bit when I um, cleaned my ear with it, but to me that's like a good thing because then I know it disinfects it, <laughs> you know? Like uh, if it stings, I know it gets clean. I, I feel like that. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. So I used this and immediately, like 10 minutes later after I used this, the, my ear didn't hurt anymore. And I was like... So it didn't hurt at all when I used this um, disinfective. I used it uh, and then I went to bed. And when I woke up, it still didn't hurt. But I noticed uh, that there was blood around the piercing. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. So. I just cleaned it off with like a q-tip and I noticed that crust was building and a little bit of pus, not um, too much, but uh, at least it doesn't, my ear doesn't hurt anymore. I uh, do think this is working actually, uh, but overall my piercing, is, obviously it hasn't healed like it, it's been weak. I thought of showing you a close-up, this is what it looks like, and my ear has become quite dry uh, of all the salt and all the washing and uh, this is what it looks like as you can see it's a little bit of crust back here and it's uh, red and stuff you don't have to be afraid if that happens it's like it's just like a wound it means it's healing don't like peel off the crust or anything just leave it be 
that is kind of my tip. And if you want a video on how I clean my piercing with this, you can go ahead and leave a like. To summarize it all, my week has been pain free except for Sunday is when uh, it really hurt really bad. My ear, it was like pulsating and it was really, I couldn't even touch it. Like when I was cleaning it, I was like, Ugh. I don't know, salt solution was just not my thing, I think. Uh, it didn't work that well for me. But it's like different for uh, every other people. Some say this works better for them, some say salt works better. 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 And for me, uh, this stuff works best for me. So uh, yeah, that's basically how my week has been. Uh, I was thinking about doing a month update. Uh, so we'll see, and I'll see you then. No, I'll see you before that. I'll make a uh, month update, maybe a cleaning video, if you guys want to see it. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please give it a like and uh, yeah, you know, push that thumbs up button and also you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't already and you would like to, you can click this button right here to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch the video when I get my piercing done. And uh, in that video I talk about uh, my how it hurt and how I felt af afterwards, like how the procedure went and all that stuff. So yeah. I'll see you next in the next video. Bye. Asked to meet you where you